along with plenty bad. But ugly is something I simply never had. A fucking bronco never stops kicking. So while the clock's ticking, here's the thing about the wicked. If you lay them to rest. The Outer Worlds has been rated M by the ESRB for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. It is approved for mature players only. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome to The Outer Worlds. Now, those of you who've been with me since the beginning know that I tried to play The Outer Worlds earlier, but it was a time when I was stupid and overloaded myself. I actually was trying to play 12 games a week, if you can believe it. Uh, like I said, it was stupid, it was ridiculous, and uh, I had to quit. But I always swore I'd come back to it, and here it is. Hope you enjoy. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man, and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them, so colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh, seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Hey, very cool. 
Let's take care of that. Okay, I've got 10 skill points. Three in leadership. Can't put any, I gotta put them in directly for. Three in dialogue. Put three more in leadership. There we go. One in long guns. There we go. There we go. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? 
nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like... Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? Kid, you got presents. Natural magnetism, know what I mean? Tell you what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? Fresh, natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. Not so fast. First, we gotta talk about royalties. Let's just see where this audition goes, huh? So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Terrific! We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Do not operate heavy machinery for two hours after application. That's supposed to be a model of a system? Not super accurate. I once treated a lady who got her hand caught in the gears. Maybe it was more worried about her rings than her fingers. Spacer's choice. It's not the best. Stand back, you. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Yep, yeah, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Here's to me! <clears throat> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow! You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. 
I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. I just need to sit down. I've always loved that sculpture. It's an artery, and you say that every time. It's strange, though. I thought Byzantium was the center of health. Your best find this week. Go. Arrows, someone else. Citizens. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Does that mean or could each of these hosts fit all of Edgewater inside? Henry and all. Healthier, more productive. Well, that's the way it's This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. 
We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Must be joking. Our fair city is being overrun by a pox of vagrants and undesirables, and your plan is to sit idly by. And what would you have me do? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah? Let's see it. <laughs> Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Have I not made myself clear? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real, live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Drugs, of course. What else? 
Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all then? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. Yeah, sure. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers and energizing ointment. Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. You must... Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning, I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. Hmm, admittedly. Now, if only you could gracefully take a shower, preferably in whatever hovel you came from. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. But she earned her place. I just told you, my grandfather made millions of bits as CIO. And I earned them from him. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful. And if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? All right, how does this sound? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk into you like that. Oh, my goodness. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore, my good man. I'd have to request a counter waiver, and you know how dreadful the paperwork is. And that's it for this session of The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. It does help me with the algorithm on YouTube. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. I'll see you next time for more Outer Worlds. Bye-bye. So perhaps you have simply forgot what you signed Oh, honestly Did you not read the colony policy That defined you as company property That wavered your say in autonomy